Well, how do you do, buckaroos? Well, I am here with my second beer from Golden Road. Another one sent to me from Herbie Homebrew in the beer trade. This is their Might As Well IPL. I'm going to read just a touch from their website, just so I get the facts right, man. 7272 Row Bohemian Pilsner Vienna Malts, along with toasted rice. A bittering hops are Galena. Finishing hops are Galena Calypso Centennial. And they use a house lager yeast. Uh, I'm not going to read the entire thing here. I just wanted to give you the particulars. But basically, they're saying they... They... Uh... <laughs> Shit, I lost where I was going. And, uh, never mind. Uh, they said to include this in their IPA... Uh, their, their IPA group. That's how it got the name. Might as well IPL. Uh, it is uh, fermented... With a lager yeast, but but brewed much like an IPA with a lot of hops. It is almost the same color as the uh, Heal the Bay IPA that I just had not long ago. Very similar color. Uh, it's a little cloudy, a light golden. Uh, pours a, a very thick, creamy white head. They expect you to get uh, flavors of passion fruit and pear. Aromas are, are citrus that I noticed most up front here. Oh yeah, that pear is very apparent. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I suppose passion fruit. I mean, I'm not a huge fan or aficionado of passion fruit, uh, but I'm going to assume that's the, <laughs> that's the flavor I'm getting besides the pear, let's just say. Yeah, there's a lot the pear, wow, you really can't taste the pear. Sure as shit, damn. Yeah, it's nice, um... It's very nice. It has a, it's a very clean, slightly dry finish on it. Yeah, I mean, it does everything they say it's supposed to do. Uh, it's our IPA style lager. It's brewed like an IPA, hop like an IPA, but fermented with a lager used for a clean, light malt profile. Yeah, I mean, it does all that. And this is a 7.2% beer. It certainly doesn't feel that way. I mean, because I could, I, could, I could put this down like a 4.5% Pilsner. You know, it really is that easy drinking. Flavors are nice. I mean, there is 70 IBUs, but it does not feel unbalanced in any way. It is very even. Oh, yeah, it's very nice. Uh, yeah, this is, I mean, I, I said all about the Heal the Bay IPA that, I mean, I could drink that all day long. It'd be a perfect summer beer, but I'd have to go along with this one. The, the, the danger here for this particular beer is that it's 7.2%. I mean, I could honestly see myself knocking back. I, I'm assuming this comes in four-pack of the pint cans I have here. Uh, I mean, I, I, shit, I could I could knock a four-pack back in no time at all and be just hammered because it's 7.2%. Because it certainly doesn't feel like 7.2%. The body doesn't suggest it. Uh, the flavors don't suggest 72 You really don't feel that alcohol whatsoever. I know I'll feel it here in a bit, but on the flavor, you do not. Um, again, I have to thank Herbie Homebrew for sending me this beer. It's just amazing. Uh, it's very likable. Well, you know, there is some debate whether this should be a legitimate style or not. I don't know. I mean, and, and quite frankly, I don't care. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I, I just, I've gotten to where, you know, I, I, I do think we should respect tradition and styles. I do. But, you know, um, we're, we're Americans, right? And, and that's what we do. We, we, we change things. We, we try to improve on, you know, we, we take an existing something. I mean, most of us, uh, our ancestry is from somewhere else. So most of us are an amalgam of different ancestries. So I think that's why we tend to want to mix things up a bit. Um, so, it, uh, <laughs> I, uh, you know, I don't know whether this should be something that's, you know, a legitimate style or not, but whether it should be called an IPL or something different, the bottom line is it's a damn fine beer, and I don't care what the hell they call it, I could drink this thing all day long.